हॅलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज सौरभ देशमुख वर्किंग ॲज अन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग वॉलचंद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न हाऊ टू परफॉर्म द स्टॅटिक स्ट्रक्चर अॅनालिसिस युजिंग वर्क बेंच द लर्निंग आउटकम ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द लर्नर विल एबल टू परफॉर्म द स्टॅटिक स्ट्रक्चर अॅनालिसिस इन एन सिक्स वर्क बेंच ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन आर वन व्हर्जन वी आर गोईंग टू सॉल्व्ह धीस प्रॉब्लेम इन वर्क बेंच वी आर कन्सिडरिंग हिअर टू स्टेप बार्स ऑफ लेंथ सिक्स्टी एम एम अँड फोर्टी एम एम द द एरिया ऑफ द फर्स्ट बार इज फिफ्टी एम एम स्क्वेअर अँड द सेकंड बार हॅविंग द एरिया ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाईव्ह एम एम स्क्वेअर द मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द टू बार्स आर ऑल्सो गिवन वी आर कन्सिडरिंग हिअर युनिफॉर्म मटेरियल दॅट इज स्ट्रक्चरल स्टील ऑफ ऑफ द यंग्स मॉड्युलर्स टू इंटू टेन एस टू फाईव्ह मेगा पास्कल द वन एंड इज फिक्स सपोर्टेड हिअर अँड फ्रॉम अदर एंड वी आर अप्लाईंग टेन्साईल फोर्स ऑफ हंड्रेड न्यूटन सो वी विल सॉल्व्ह धीस प्रॉब्लेम इन वर्क बेंच सो वी हॅव ओपन हिअर द वर्क बेंच टॅप यू विल फाईंड हिअर व्हेरियस अॅनालिसिस सिस्टीम्स हिअर so you will find the model model acoustic random vibrations response okay static acoustic rigid dynamics static structural okay so uh, transient thermal transient structural so we are going to choose the static structural here okay so just click on and drag it and drop it here you'll find box here and we you will see various options here okay so engineering data geometry model setup solution and results so in engineering data we can uh, uh, introduce uh, materials here okay so you'll find the by default materials which are already available in ansys library so if you will click here and double click here the ansys library will get open so uh, by default uh, the ansys select structural steel as our material so if you want to uh, choose another material so we need to go to the engineering data sources and you will find few dot a uh, few materials here like general material additive manufacturing materials etc so you will find in general material you will find the uh, various type of materials here like air aluminum alloy concrete copper alloy okay so uh, gray cast iron magnesium alloy etc the structural steel is also they have introduced in the general materials so you can uh, uh, either you can select materials from these or you can also introduce the new material you need to click here to add a new uh, material into the library uh, we'll see in, uh, this in another video so uh, as we are going to perform by using the structural steel in this video okay so if you want to go to the project just click on the project here and go to the geometry you can either input geometry in ansys uh, in dot igs form or dot stb form or dot model form or uh, with the extensions uh, i will say or you can uh, 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 you can model in the space claim or the design modeler uh, platform okay so i will uh, i will create model using the design model platform just click on the design modeler then modeler here and you will get the, this as uh, we are going to perform it is uh, in x y plane okay so just click on the x y plane then go to the sketching go to the rectangle we are going to perform uh, the structural analysis of a beam here so go to the rectangle just draw a rectangle here uh, before that just change the units okay so go to the unit and we will select it is as a millimeter so click on the millimeter it will get changed to the millimeter so now uh, we are going to uh, draw a rectangle and by extruding that rectangle we will uh, Uh, we will uh, draw a beam here okay so just draw a rectangle here now we need to give the dimensions click on dimension general dimensions click on this length click on this length now the v1 we are we will apply it v1 as a, a, a 
you we can apply it is it's a 10 mm okay and just click somewhere else then uh, for h2 it will be a uh, we will take it as a 5 mm okay so you'll find here a beam of cross section 50 mm square okay now we need to generate this okay so uh, uh, and we need to extrude that okay so just generate and you'll find here uh, you'll find the extrude option here so to extrude the geometry here so click on the extrude the the section or the geometry is uh, selected by default just click on the apply and give depth or the actually the here the length here so uh, just apply here 60 mm length and click on the generate so you will find the uh, beam of the cross sectional area 50 mm square and uh, the length of 60 mm okay so we will take here step bar so uh, just click on the new plane here okay so we need to select the plane on this face okay so uh, type is from uh, plane just click on this and select from face okay just uh, click on the uh, base face so click on the face here and apply okay so this will be the new plane here you will find it here and now we need to this uh, we need to introduce the sketch so go to the sketching okay we need to create a generate here so that the plane will get generate now click on the new plane okay so new we are going to new sk uh, sketch here so click on the sketch here new sketch okay so go to the sketching so go to the line okay now this is a straight line we have we have got the straight line just go to the dimension general dimensions give it 2.5 mm okay now we will draw a rectangle there from this point this line okay so we need to apply dimensions here you go to dimension general dimensions it will be off and this okay there is no problem it it is it is saying that it will be over constraint there is no issue so the, we need to change v3 it is a 5 okay no problem we need to change the h2 here so click on the h2 and click it here as a 5 so we have applied uh, a rectangle here we have drawn rectangle of uh, area 25 mm square okay so just okay so now go to the sketching uh, modeling here and then select the extrude now this is selected okay now apply 40 and just generate it so you will find uh, uh, a step bar here okay now we need to go to the workbench again so go to the model so the the window of the model is opened here now we will apply the we have already applied the material here the structural steel there is no problem just click on the solid here and uh, just i will expand this and you will find the assigned material here as structural steel okay so we will directly mesh this element uh, the, this uh, total body so just click on this body select this body and just match this just click and update the mesh okay so you can change the size here okay so you'll you'll also find the total number of elements and nodes also so we now applied the boundary condition just go to the static structural we need to rotate this now just we we are going to uh, we are going to fix this support so we need to select the face 
then go to the environment here just click on the environment you will find here load support for moment okay so you will also find the supports fix support okay frictionless support click on the fix support click on this face and apply it now we need to apply the force on face okay so uh, also uh, click on the force Okay, the, you will find here the option force. Now we need to select the face. So click on the face, click apply. Okay, now we need to give the magnitude of force. Either we can give the uh, uh, ramp magnitude uh, in vector form or in the uh, component form. So we will apply in component on in x axis, I guess. No, it is in z axis. Okay, so you will find it here. Your, the z axis, along z axis, we will apply the force. So click on the Z and give it uh, any number. We will apply it 100 Newton. So we have applied the force. Now we will solve for the deformations. Okay, just click on the solution. So go to the results and then you will find here deformation. The total deformation. We will also calculate the strain and stress. Just click on the solve button. And this will solve this problem okay it is showing the warning at least one body has been found okay we need to change the mesh size here actually we will not get the results we will change the mesh size here okay so uh, just click on the mesh and uh, the you will find here element size as a default give it as a 5 yes and then mesh actually it is we need to update it okay the five it is going to be meter actual just click on the uh, home and change the units to the mm and now it, it we will get it as five or we will take it as a 10 okay and then go to the mesh just update it and we will solve this again oh it is again showing us just irritating it uh, i'll it is at is two two okay two we will take it as a two or we'll take it as a one okay we'll mesh it in smaller parts just click on the update okay and now we will solve it you will find the total deformation at 0 0.0014 mm maximum deformation you will find and this elastic strain is uh, 2.8 okay and maximum strain and the stress is 5.3 megapixel maximum okay so i hope you have understood how to perform the analysis in workbench these are the references thank you